Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition where honestly, uh, what were we doing? I only played like a few days ago and I'm like, hmm, I think we were gonna go do Horizon. Oh my gosh, I just checked. I should have checked before I started recording, but we finished Leviathan last time. Woo, and I ran down because I, like, I was like, why am I down here? And I'd run down to check on Javik. But let me see if anybody has anything. I can't say I was happy sending you down in that submersible by yourself. Don't know why I ever worry about you. Take on ancient aliens from the deep? Sure, no problem. It's nice to be worried about, though. Honestly, you know, like even if I am capable, it's like it's like I know you're capable, but I'm still gonna be worried. With the Leviathan on our side, maybe we pull this thing off after all. Maybe, James. maybe. At least Anne's still around to see her dad's work finally pay off. Yes, because there was a chance she could be dead, and that would be just really sad. Uh, let's see if anybody up here, maybe Liara has something to say. Please, enjoy your Thanks, day. you too. I can only imagine talking to something so huge, so alien. I hope it helps against the Reapers. You know, I honestly don't remember. I'm pretty sure there was like a contingent of Leviathans at the end of the game, I guess, when everybody gets together and we all try to, f you know, fight the Reapers, but... Shepard, I looked over your mission report. Gotta say, it feels like we've been after these Reapers forever. From Sovereign to Leviathan, they've been a pain in the ass the whole time. But at least we're starting to see the big picture. Yeah. Never really thought we'd get any answers. It doesn't change much, but it does make this war feel a whole lot bigger. Yeah, and I'd also, I think, like what my character said, like what Shepard says, right? It's like, it sounds, uh, there's a beginning, and there was an end, there's, there, so there can be an end, you know? They aren't just, I don't know, spawned from the galaxy itself at the beginning of time or anything, you know? Where's your boy at? Maybe I missed him because I moved too fast. Woo! I, I always feel like he's like, young lady. Nice to have everyone back on dry land, so to speak. <laughs> you know, whenever we discover something amazing like that, I wonder what else might be out there. Or even right under our noses. God, I love him. Yeah, well, you know. In like a fond memories of ye olden days sort of way, but I do like his character. And again, if it, if I if I hadn't romanced him, maybe things would be better. Because he gets so persnickety in two. Although apparently somebody told me that because I was like, ooh, Ashley, I felt like Ashley handled it really well compared to, uh, compared to Caden. And someone else was like, well, that's not how it happened for me, but I did romance her, but she sounded very put out. And I was like, oh, dang, that's so wild. Like, maybe it's just if you romance the person, they, they have their own, uh, upsetty spaghetti moment, you know what I mean? But still... Like I said, I really liked Caden for like how, I don't know, he just, he's a thinker, and I like that. Ashley was very action-oriented, which is fine. I, I, I have grown to like Ashley in my old age, but only once she changes as a person. Uh, did I, did I, did I, did I, let me poke Tally about it. Meow. I was just thinking about the Banshees. The Asari are so beautiful. And to see that done to them... The Reapers have done the same to most intelligent species they've encountered. Humans, Batarians, Turians, and even Krogan have been modified into Reaper foot soldiers. But not Quarians. No. The Reapers have not encountered your people in significant numbers. You don't think it's because of our weakened immune systems? No. Hmm. I just assumed we weren't useful. Quarians are intelligent, adaptable, and technically adept. You would make excellent Reaper soldiers. Huh. Thanks, E.D. I think. Tally, the Normandy has benefited greatly from your work. 
and your people are providing vital support in the war effort. We wouldn't be doing as well without the Geth. And we wouldn't be doing as well without you. Thank you, Tally. Oh, I remember ready to get along. So we have Leviathan. I hope it stays on our side. Same Z's. Alright, I think we got mostly everybody. Their reactions to the Leviathan. No. Oh, do you have anything to say? Commander. Did we poke Edie and Joker about it? I almost said Javik and then Garrus and then blah, blah. Can't keep track of all my my friends. Commander. Okay, Edie. Eee, come on. How's the ship holding up, Edie? The envelope of mass free space. Oh, we already we hear this one. We travel at FTL. Limits any impact mm -hmm. of my collisions Why? with ambient dust. You already told me I will foot the bill. Apparently, despite this being an alliance craft. I mean, we say, we say it's an alliance craft. It's got alliance on it, but it's kind of mine. <laughs> Uh, at this point, I think I'm just not. I'm stalling on the. Let's get out of here. I'm stalling on Horizon, which is another uncomfortable one. But really, is there is there a comfortable one in any of these? You know, I keep think. Uh, I'm not keep thinking, but I just had a thought. I was like, usually I try to get like a hundred percent in all the systems. Maybe I'll leave that for like after Horizon. That might be like a stream <laughs> where I'm like, hey, because currently this video is gonna go up way later. But like at current time, which is 28th ish of August, um, I've been streaming Dragon Age Origins while I'm kind of you know held up because of workers comp and. Uh, trying to get through Origins before I go back out into the field, which I am cleared to go out next Wednesday, so. Early September. Um, but it's like, I don't know if it's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get through Origins, but. It's because when I stream, I take too long. It's, uh, it's a, I, I enjoy chit-chatting with people, and so. I end up I end up talking a lot instead of actually playing. I'd probably get done in like half the time if I didn't stream. But I'm doing my canon run from Origins to Met to maybe through Inquisition. Could you? I don't know. Oh my gosh. There was dense repositories of heavy metals, but there was a galactic uranium surplus, and the moon surfaces are littered of like this planet are littered with executives who committed suicide by airlock. I just I don't know any executive really I, I can't think of an executive who would actually do that. They usually just like, you know, get what they can out of a company and then they like leave taking like a massive million dollar severance package and go run another company into the ground and get money doing that you know what i mean like this seems wild <laughs> uh it's an extra solar capture again and there's an is that another one pressure cooker pots like is this like a venus maybe not like gas giant it's a primordial soup. <sighs> All right, time to go to the very unhappy planet. Horizon, a temporal world that has hit the sweet spot for carbon-based life. Horizon is a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere maintained by its abundant plants and bacteria. This plant is particularly compatible with Earth vegetation, so a thriving human community has sprung up. Horizon's population is in flux. A collector attack in 2185 inflicted significant casualties. Refugees have been streaming to the planet since the Reaper invasion began. Since many land illegally, there's no way to accurately track population. Although many colonists resent the newcomers, others have embraced Horizon's new role. Advertisements for Sanctuary, its main refugee center, can be seen galaxy-wide. Oh, there's so many people here. Oh, this is upsetting. Okay, okay. We're, what are we doing? We're doing... 
We're gonna be fighting Cerberus. Spoilers. <laughs> uh, we're in Garrus. I do like to bring Javik for his extra dialogue, but I think I might go with an old squad. This is Tech, Biotic, and Tech, and me who's Biotic, so we should be fine. Oh, sick. I just realized level 59. It's the max in this one. I don't even remember. And I have nine points somehow. Here we go. All right, Commander, what do we know? Edie, the sanctuary facility was devoted to aiding refugees from Reaper controlled systems. The facility went offline. Oh, crazy. And no communications have come or gone. That's home. crazy. It is unclear why Kai Lang or Cerberus would be interested in sanctuary. No more guessing. That's right, because Shepard's like, we need to hit them before they hit us this time. We're tired of being on the back foot, so we're taking the fight to them. If there's a clue to Cerberus here, we find it. Ma'am, I'm picking up a signal from the facility. It's weak, but I'll try to boost it. This is Oriana Lawson. Stay away from Sanctuary. It's not what it seems. Please, you must listen to me. They're using... Oriana? That's Miranda's sister. If she's here, Miranda can't be far yeah. away. That's our link to Cerberus. Approaching the LZ. Yeah, that wasn't Miranda. Seems some damage, Commander, but no activity. That was Oriana, the twin. Well, sort of twin. Cerberus does not get the jump on us this time. Stay sharp, people. Major damage, Commander. Yeah. But who is fighting? I had to turn the volume down on my computer because it's just the whole thing was too loud. Yeah, that, that, that? would have hurt. Yeah, radio's offline. Something's jamming our signals. Explains no comms leaving the facility. Yeah, this is not minor damage. This is definitely big, big time damage. Yay! We got oh, oh, oh! We're fighting Reapers too? You see the harvester? I saw Why? It. Also, if there's a harvester, there's, a... there's way more. Watch, your backs. Watch our backs. What? Where are they? Okay. Let's see, I am having the wrong gun for. You cannot hit me. Got her. Come here, you, you, you. Annoying. Okay, having two of these, two, uh, <laughs> what do you call it? Two overloads available to me looks like they were is good. And looks like the Reapers were chasing them out. About time they started killing each other. Hmm, was it? Or were we... I guess that's true, the Reaper was attacking the Cerberus shuttle, because it's like, were they working together? What? Welcome to Sanctuary. Welcome to Sanctuary. For your safety, please for your safety. Golly. What happened here? Come on. Cerberus shuttles came from that tower. Then that's where we're headed. Okay, okay. I was like, what am I looking at here? Please tell me. All arrivals are asked to submit their possessions to our sorting staff for inspection. They will be returned inside the compound. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Be advised. Communication devices will not function within sanctuary. Everything is so metal. Why is everything it's like I mean, that's just kind of how bio or bio, bio, uh, Mass Effect is, but. Must have felt safe in here. Security? That must have been a relief to the refugees. And then it all went. Yeah, they sure did a good job. We need to find out what happened. Trying to make sure people felt safe, right? Like the gardens, everything's so pleasant. You good, Garris? <laughs> Oh, Gaul, you guys scared me. Why are you doing this? Security cam footage. 
This is where they sorted out the refugees. Come on, let's keep looking. I, I saw there's a circle over here. A bet. If I ever hear anything unironically say a better tomorrow, I'm gonna run so fast. I figure in another week I can finish off the remaining hours on my contract and move from staff housing into sanctuary itself. I feel a little guilty that I'm getting an upgrade from standard accommodations, but that's the deal. Do your time at the front desk. Get the perks. One more week. Yeah, I hate reading. I'm never gonna write anything like that either. I've decided <laughs> just now, <laughs> cause that's just a jinx. To uh oh, good. Civilian processing ratios: adults 60% sent to integration, children 85% sent to integration. Suitable candidates are being assigned to temporary living areas in alphabetical order. Family units are being preserved for ease of processing, not for like you know, not for kindness, not for like basic decency, but because they won't make a fuss if they stay in their family units. Uh, also, this is Cerberus integration, right? So they're integrating children because it's easier, probably. Because the little minds are not, you know, like kids' minds are easier to manipulate and mess with. I don't know. I don't know anything about genetics, but like in all the like sci fi stories, kids are, and like even fantasy, like kids are easier to like. <sighs> genetically or mentally mess with and make them how you want, right? The number of refugees has doubled in the last two weeks. I heard that people are just abandoning shuttles outside the main gate. They just don't have anywhere to go. We'll need to start setting up temporary shelters out there until they can be processed. Some people, obviously the front desk, they did not know, right? They did not know about the shenanigans. Oh, there's some Alliance shuttles. That crashed. Is the Alliance trying to help out? Or did the Alliance figure something out? Maybe there was just like refugee sh Alliance shuttles. You figured they'd be playing though if they were just playing old refugee ones. I mean, that's why they say, right? They're like, oh, you have to take out your personal communication devices because, uh, other... This must be another landing area, more official. So those ships we saw were waiting to get in. But where are all the people they brought? Anyway, I lost track of what I was saying. Oh, no. Um, Got something, Commander. Yeah, yeah. Casualties, both yeah, sides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything over here? Just checking. I would like, yeah, I was like, there's gotta be something. Got a fragment of something. And here. there. I can't call right now, but I'll send this as soon as I can. My little girl got sick, that's why I left. I love you, but I have to take care of her. The clinics were closing their doors to refugees. I couldn't borrow credits from you. I don't know where I learned about Sanctuary. Around, I guess. Seemed perfect. Somewhere to hide, you know? Just till she got better. I can see the place out the window. It's huge. They already have people waiting for us. Got another one. We land in a few minutes. You should see this place, Dad. It's amazing. Look, I'll record a bunch of stuff and send it to you. They warned us about no comms until we're through processing. What I tell you, top-notch security. Can't wait till you get here. Hey, you read stuff like that with like fires and crumpled machinery around and you're like, Bleh, you know? <laughs> I was I was looking at oh no. I was looking at the dead bodies. Ay, ay, ay. Please let me Ooh, thank you, Garrus. Did you see that? You shot that guy. Killed him, killed him dead. That's amazing. Okay, let me just, 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 let me just. Come on. No, I didn't want to do. Okay, well that's fine. <laughs> to aim weapon, it's like, listen. You, Dead end, you're not as cool as you think. We need an exit. Keep looking. This man died terribly. With your help, is 
They were being evacuated. Why is there still anybody here? Ooh, thank you. Gross! Oh, so gross. Why does it have a butthole? <laughs> Why? It has a sphincter. I don't like that. Look at that. Sci-fi horror. I was just trying to see... Nothing? Alright. Miranda! Shepard. Yeah. That's Miranda. Yeah. Where's she... Where's, she, where's her voice coming from? This is Miranda Lawson. If you've managed to get this far, you must be desperate or stupid. Listen to me. This is not a refugee camp. This is a Cerberus facility run by my father, Henry Lawson. Turn back now. There is no help to be found here. All communication is being blocked from the central tower. Sanctuary is a lie. Stay away. Okay, so we've got Cerberus, Reapers, and Miranda's crazy father. Mm -hmm. Any ideas how this all fits? Anybody? Money. Yeah, I'll steal money from Miranda's dad. Is there... Nope. Okay. A security panel. Shutting it Why? down. Why? Look at that. <laughs> Why go to the trouble of concealing it? Oh. Let's check it out. I was like, look at that. Water going down. We have a back door into the facility. Let's move. And But then they're like, why? he's like, why bother concealing it, I guess. Yeah. That's an interesting way to hide it. It does seem like it would be very obvious, you know, whatever you had to get in through this direction. I'd recognize Reaper technology anywhere, Commander. I don't know how, but Cerberus is using it for something. It doesn't look good. And Miranda's caught in the middle. Let's pick up the pace. Well, Miranda does that on purpose because, you know, she knows she knows what she's getting into. I think for the most part, <laughs> and it's worth the risk. It's worth the risk. I cannot speak. Anyway, it's fun to see like my companions like doing the whole like you know, coming up with things themselves, scanning things on their own, not just walking around like little soldiers. I like that a lot. This is going to get ugly, Shepard. Nothing good ever came out of Reaper Tech. I know. They're all being turned into Reapers. Well, they're all being... What's happening is Cerberus is uh, trying to upgrade the humans, right? Uh, but they're using Reaper tech to do it, so they're essentially just being a long arm of Reaper law, you know? Ooh, thank you. Anybody? Hmm? Hmm? Some kind of control center. No power, though. Look around for a switch. Like, sometimes it's, maybe it's easy to forget that Caden is, at this point, almost just as competent as Shepard. And so is Garrett. So, like, I don't know, it's fun to have them, like, spout off, you know? Like, being like, here's our observations, and I'm like, I literally, you two could probably be Shepard's if Shepard died. You know what I mean? So it's fun. Power switch. I like having a competent squad. There. What's happening? Those are the refugees. Don't get in! Don't, don't do it! They're just rounding them up and slaughtering them. Worse. They're being turned into husks. In a different way than they were before. You used to have to put them on spikes. Now they're using the, like, reaper melting goo that was in two. I think is what it looks like. Oh, I remember this part. Ooh, it's okay. It's fine. I'm ready. Ha, he, ha, hoo. Nope, I'm ready. I know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't scream. <laughs> Aren't you guys supposed to be contained? Come on. Aren't there? Aren't you little spooky guys? Not supposed to be in your little tiny, you know. Oh, I hate husks so much. What are you doing? Oh, 
It is weird that we're not seeing the Cerberus personnel, like the actual Cerberus personnel. Maybe that's the actual Cerberus personnel. They got changed more than they wanted to. Why go all this just to make husks? What does the elusive man gain? The Reapers attacked because this place was a threat. We need to find out why. Oh, okay. Or they just wanted it. I guess not. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe the elusive man is doing something he shouldn't be doing. Unsuitable materials reassigned to recycling. That's people. They're they're recycling people. I hear you, you nasties. What? I hate the noises they make too. I'm sticking to my job now. Oh. Oh, Miranda did all this. <laughs> she said I'm all loose. Reaper forces have made a mess of the facility. I'm shutting down the power to the processing plant to lock them down. I should keep them out of the entrance as well. <gasps> Kyla? <laughs> she doesn't know he's here. Miranda Lawson has arrived sooner than expected. You want me to deal with her? Only if she gets in your way. Stay focused on the research data. Find it and get out. Yes, sir. Kai Lang is like let's move ten percent of the operative that Miranda is. Miranda was intelligent and loyal, whereas Kai Lang is just like bloodthirsty and wants to get in fights. You know what I mean? Like he is uh, the elusive man. I think must be so frustrated. Uh, Kai Lang is more of a tool. You know, he just he just he's a murder tool. He's not sneaky or in, like that intelligent right like he's not stupid but he's not as smart as Miranda and she was like capable of making like independent decisions that benefited the elusive man whereas Kai Lang's just like me kill mm, you see that no. I think I do need to change out my shotgun I've been trying to give this one a chance So much. Hate them. I feel like the run that they had was spookier in one, though. I don't know what it is, but I don't like that they swarm in one. It was like the weird spider monsters, it felt like, and I was like, I don't like that. I spent the last week making small adjustments to increase processing efficiency. There is no shortage of subjects. Indeed, I'm told there's a long line outside the main gate. Oh, it's so crazy how they're like, we have humanity's best interests in mind. I'm like, no, you guys are big, bad, evil corporate types, and your interest is only in yourselves. You know what I mean? We've confirmed the results of Cerberus experiments involving the husk creatures. A crude but necessary first step in decoding how the Reapers communicate. The key is how the Reaper signal interacts with the nanites implanted within the subject's body. It's early yet. And they're like, yeah, 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 we're gonna experiment on humans, but you know, the unworthy ones, the ones who aren't genetically superior like we are, you know what I mean? Why are you screaming at me? I hate it so much. Oh, I should use my. There she is. Oh, I hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Hate that. Yeah. Um... Oops, that was an accident. Oh my gosh, your guys' stuff takes so long to come back. Get a 
Shepard, you moron! You idiot! Oh my gosh, there's a... There's a guy out there. Okay. Oh, Kyle, there's like one of the like... The... I don't know what the word is. That guy. The Ravager. Thing is gonna like release more monsters on me. Come on, this was a door just to an open area. Ah, uh, yeah. Here's the banshee. I remember this specifically. I think when I very first played, this is where I actually learned about banshees first. Maybe not. I don't know. I remember this being really freaky. Anyway. <laughs> Dr. Nuri's legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to break down the will was inspired, but proved unreliable for general application. We've proven that adrenaline and its cross-species equivalents is most effective and efficient. What kind of monster does this to people? I don't get it. I don't either. That was, uh, Paul Grayson's a character in one of the, uh, novels. The pursuit of efficiency has revealed an important fact. The Reaper's use of dragon's teeth to create husks is ingenious. The Reaper nanites attach themselves to the adrenaline released and quickly move through the body to speed conversion to the final husk state. Okay, I swear there was like, I don't know, maybe I'm missing a facility Dr. somewhere. Dr. legacy work with subject Paul Grayson provided a key element to our work here. Using the addictive drug Red Sand to She would to just be able to break the door inspired. down, you know? That proved unreliable for general application. We uh, yeah. cross is most effective and efficient. Okay, that was. Oh, golly, I had to go fight her in there, and I don't want to! Figure out how Reaper and oh, oh, hello, Miranda. Terminal's damaged. Hang on. Maybe we'll get some answers as to why the Reapers wanted this place shut down. It doesn't make sense. Cerberus and the Reapers were getting along. It changed. You got it, Shepard. I'm amazing. Heading to the tower to disable the communication scrambler. I have to get word out. Some refugees are turned into husks. Some are indoctrinated and shipped to the elusive man. Whoever's left is used in experiments. The data indicates that my father is trying to figure out how Reaper indoctrination works. Tricking refugees with food and shelter only to turn them into test subjects. And for what? This is disgusting. And the scale of this. She mentioned shipments. Could lead us to the elusive man. Good catch. Come on. See? Miranda said she was headed to the town. I, I know I know no matter what, you whoever's with you will make that you know, they'll be like, here's the deal like here's uh, something that I caught, you know? But still, having these two do it, I don't know. I just love it a lot. Feel like these guys are probably my best. She's in here. Um, but yeah, I was trying. Oh, I was trying to think. So, <laughs> why do you have? Check your fire. Check your fire. What? I feel like we should just be able to throw in stuff. Oh, Garrus, you scared me! <sighs> oh, 
Okay, we've got. Golly. I'm I'm I know we're swamped, but I'm surprised the alliance didn't get anything about this. And it's one like my I guess the thing I was thinking of when Miranda was talking is it's like it's like nobody's spared, right? Like people are funneled in here and but I it's kinda crazy to me that nobody was thinking what's the capacity, right? Like, apparently they just had people swarming in and then they're like, no one's safe. Like, they're all either being experimented on, turned into husks and experimented on or indoctrinated and sent to the elusive man, right? And like, they obviously have some facilities, right? Where people are um, like living at least temporarily for a bit, right? And like put into family units and stuff. And then they are being processed and shipped out and it's like, did nobody, did nobody think, like, this facility can hold millions of people, but that's kind of, or at least hundreds of thousands of people? You know what I, I don't know, I'm not saying it right, I think, but it's just like, there had to be a capacity at some point. Obviously the refugees aren't thinking about it because they just want to get safe, you know, and they want to, they're not thinking about the bigger picture here, but like, where was the Alliance? Where was the Spectres? Like, I mean, I'm here now, but like, this has been going on for a while at this point, you know? And the Reapers are unhappy with it because they're trying. The Cerberus is trying to find out their weaknesses. So maybe in some way the elusive man is trying to like you know fight his indoctrination a bit um, and trying to like keep to his original goal. But it's crazy to me that they're like they're like in order to preserve humanity, we're gonna throw them into um, like a meat machine. You know, essentially like. And this is just straight up Reaper tech, you know, like... And it's crazy to me that other Cerberus humans were like, No, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. To be fair, I think most of them are indoctrinated at this point, but holy cow. I should probably call this episode here. Anyway, it's been super fun having these two. I like to bring these out, these two out in the past, but like, it's really fun to have Javik too, um, for his commentary, but... Oh, these guys are like my oldest friends, besides Talia. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. I'm gonna go now. But first, I, w I don't know how to end this video. But first, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Riska Lido. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.